All right, Mechatronic students, this is Andrew Dowland, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to set up your work on the vise of the vertical mill, and also how to use this digital readout scale. So a couple of things. Uh, this is the drawing that we had from before, um, and you can see in this drawing that all the dimensions are pulled off of one edge of the part, that'd be this far edge over here, and then all the dimensions in the X, or sorry, the Y axes are uh, referencing this corner up there. All right. So on our physical part, uh, we've taken and marked a zero zero point. Uh, I've used a Sharpie marker to draw on this corner, so I know that that's my zero zero point for everything. And also, um, you guys can see. I've scribed some lines, I'm trying to get the light to catch that, uh, that indicate where all of the um, centers of the holes are going to go. So <clears throat> to get started here, we're going to clamp this up into our vise. So you got a nice photo of the vise. Uh, but we don't know where the zero, zero point is on our digital readout, so we're going to use a device that's called an edge finder. And that's this guy here. Okay. Now this edge finder has got a uh, an end part that kind of wobbles around. Okay. And <clears throat> when it finds the edge of the part, you're going to find that the um, edge finder edge piece here is concentric with the rest of the shank. And then once you get uh, right on that edge, it's actually going to kick over, and you'll hear a ratcheting kind of a click 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 sound. And that indicates that we have found the edge of the part. So our first step here is to get the product um, nice and secure inside of the vise. All right. And remember the uh, procedure to tap it down while we're tightening. And our, our uh, parallels are in good shape there. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and put this uh, edge finder into the Jacobs chuck. Oh, Got to go the other way with that. OK. And so we're going to use a combination of the edge finder and the digital readout to set this up at a 0, 0 point so we can basically find this exact corner and that corner is what we used in the drawing to show um, you know, where, where all the holes are relative to. So let's go ahead and get this going. We're going to crank up our knee and to bring this guy over. All right, now we're getting close to that edge. And I'm just going to demonstrate this here. I may have to change some speeds. OK. I'm going to bring that speed down to a little bit lower. We're at about 500 RPMs. And you guys can see the end piece of that edge finder <clears throat> is all, all over the place, pretty wobbly. Now, as we get the product closer, you're going to get to a point where there, the edge finder tool is aligned. And then there, right there, at a, it positioned over and did a uh, click, 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 click sound. So I'm going to zoom in on just that feature and repeat that step so you guys can really appreciate what was happening. So there's our edge finder. And you can see when we turn it on, it is pretty wobbly. Right? And as we bring the product, our work close to it, you can see now it's aligned. And if I go just a wee bit further, you're going to see it kick over right there. I'm going to go ahead and shut it off. And that is where we know the edge of the part is. So at this point, we would go to our digital readout. And I'm on the x-axis. Up here it says 0, so I know it's ready to zero out that. I can hit this 0 button. And that's going to zero out the x-axis. Now our edge finder is uh, 0.2 inches in diameter, so 200 thousandths in diameter. And what we want to do is align the edge with the center 
of the spindle. And so what we need to do is subtract a hundred thousandths from that. So what we do is to uh, either lower the part or raise the spindle, and then we would move it over one hundred thousandths so we're perfectly aligned with the edge. So I'm moving the x-axis, and we want to get this right at one hundred thousandths. So I'm just taking my time here. There we go. And that's going to be, you know, the two tenths that's left over there. That's okay. I would zero it out again. And now what we've done is to align one axis. The x axis has been aligned with the edge of the part. So we are in good shape there. I'm going to zoom out. Whoa. <clears throat> and we'll repeat that step for the y axis. So we'd move over a little bit, and now we're going to use the edge finder to find the y-axis of the part. So we're going to drop this down. All right. So that looks like it's ready to go. When we repeat those same steps, we get the edge finder tip kicked over such that it is all wobbly, and then we drive it into the edge of the part until we see it uh, align and then break over and start clicking. So right about there, she's getting to be aligned, and it, boom, it clicked over. That way we know we found the edge of the part. So same procedure, we're going to go back to our digital readout, but this time we're going to zero the y-axis. And then we lift it up. So we clear the edge finder. That's above the uh, part here. And we move inward until our digital readout goes to uh, point 0.1 on the y-axis. All right, and again, that tense doesn't matter so much. And we zero it out. So in theory, we now have an exact uh, zero, zero point for the edge of the part. And let's confirm that and maybe get a uh, bunch of our center holes drilled and ready to go. So I remove the edge finder. Uh, always put that back where it came from. Trying to keep things neat and tidy in here. And we're going to use the center drill. Uh, this is again a short and stubby drill bit. And the purpose of the short stubby drill bit is so that we don't have our drill bit walking. Oh, I'm moving the chuck the wrong way here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and dial in our digital readout uh, so that it's at zero, zero position. And that should be right at the edge of the part, right at that back corner. Should be perfectly aligned. And let's uh, see what it looks like. So if I was to bring this center drill down and then kind of eyeball things, it is quite nicely in the center of, or that it's all aligned with the edge of the part. So I'm going to demonstrate this just a little bit more with a different camera angle. All right, go back to a handheld camera. And you guys can see this edge is perfectly aligned with the center drill. And if I rotate, and bring it over here. You can see that edge is perfectly aligned with the center. So that's in our zero, zero position. So we are ready to go. So at this point, we can use our coordinates based on our part drawing. And we can figure out where to drill all those holes. And this was done prior with the, uh, I've laid them out with scribe lines on the granite block so we know exactly where the center of those positions are. So our first hole, if I guess if I get a pick on this, is right here in the uh, y-axis it's 0 0.450 and in the x-axis it's 0.5. Now that's going to show up as some negative numbers so we'll go ahead and uh, position that in the right spot 
and I'm just going to bring this guy over. Um, I guess I can use the digital readout to show what I'm doing here. Going to get this to exactly 0.5. All right, and then the y-axis at 0.45, 450. There we go, and like I said, the uh, you know to you could get get it exactly on uh, by moving the handles around and kind of tapping it um, if you're being very very precise, uh, but that's pretty darn good right there. So at this point, we could go ahead and drill that hole, and it should line up with our scribe marks. And uh, you can see I've already drilled this one. Um, I messed up a previous video. So uh, what we're going to do is go around and drill all these holes um, with the center drill to get them exactly in that uh, location per the drawing. So I'll go ahead and uh, get this first one drilled. Um, should be at about a thousand RPMs for this. So turn on the spindle and crank this up to a thousand RPMs. So there's our first one. And what we can do is just go around and put each of them in the correct position. Our next one is called out to be at 0.345 or 3.450. All right, so I'm happy with that. And again, we just go back to drilling the hole. Um, And you can see that it's, um, it's a little hard to see there, but it's lined up perfectly with my scribe lines that were done on the granite block. Okay, so there we go. I'm just gonna continue drilling all the holes and that's the basics of getting a block set up and finding the edges using the edge finding tool and then using our digital readout to help us get things in exact locations on the mill. So um, have fun with this and we'll catch you guys next time.